Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you feeling today? I wish you will be enjoying the best of all. I welcome you in my class that is an English for grade 5. And we are learning unit number 14 and its title is Traffic Issues. Yes, my dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You may click it, download it, or you can amend it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Our today's lecture, lecture number one, we will learn under the title of Grammar, my dear students and my dear teachers, we will learn about Moodle words. Before in English for grade four, my dear students, we have already learned in one page number 129, the use of about can, should and may. These are also Moodle words. So we have already learned. I hope you remember it. If you may not, so you can watch this video lecture again. Our today's students learning outcomes are Illustrate the use of can, cannot, and may, may not, and should, should not to express permission, prohibition, doubt, and obligation. Okay, so today we are going to cover up that and how we can express different situations according to the mood. So today our SLO will is that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Al-Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 150, my dear students, and from Wherever you go out for prayers, turn your face toward Al Masjid al, al Haram. And wherever you believers may be, turn your faces toward in it, order that the people will not have any argument against you, except for those of them who commit wrong. So fear them not, but fear me. And it is so I may complete my favor upon you and that you may be guided okay so yes my dear students so what are you getting from this beautiful verse do you, this beautiful verse is a command from allah almighty to the our beloved prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that when allah almighty has ordered that turn your face okay for prayer turn your face to Masjid al-Haram, Haram, okay? Masjid al-Haram when Allah Almighty ordered that to turn face. So Allah Almighty is giving instructions in that that whoever, who people are so uh, honest, okay, and fear, and they are truthful people, they will definitely they will turn their face behind you as following you. But in this way, you can judge that. Those people will not follow you, so definitely they are not following you by heart. They are hypocrite. So you can so that see that in this way that always no need to be feared from them, no need to be scared from them at all. Just fear from me and turn your face at all. So have you got that? That this beautiful verse and you know that why I have circled these words. May this is also this is also. Yes, these are Moodle verbs using mood. So let's see what are Moodle verbs. Today we are going to learn about such type of words, my dear students. Pre-reading questions are there. So we are going to refresh our previous knowledge. So be ready. Yes. What are Moodle verbs? So already we have learned, my dear students. Okay, the next one is for you. What do you know about the use of can? may or should in a sentence how we can use such type of modal verbs in dip to show different moods well done well done good job so let's see how and what are modal verbs modal verbs are used to express functions such as permission ability obligation prohibition advice possibility and probability like can, may, should to show different moods. So have you got that my dear students? What are modal verbs? How we can define modal verbs? Modal verbs are always used to express different situations and these situations can be permission when we want to get permission okay and its ability when we are discussing ability that how much able I am so this is obligations that we have to do at any cost. So in this way, when we are expressing, discussing, or writing, or verbally we are discussing things, so how we can discuss? If we want to advise someone, so how we can advise? So in these, with the help of these Moodle verbs, 
so we can perform all things those are mentioned here so today i am going to give you everything in a clear way okay good so see there use of can we will get can is used to show ability of subject possibility request are to ask permission in which time present time so yes my dear students can can is used to show ability means how much able i am and what i can easily what i can perform easily which thing which work so if i am um, i want to discuss i want to share so how i will share so then if i i am sharing the my ability then i will use can but keep remember my dear students in which time i will use in present time already i have told you that three times main times past present future is it clear past time have gone present time this is our present time future will come so this can we have to use in present time okay so keep remember so ability of whose ability of subject keep remember can will always used is always used to show ability of a subject and who is the subject subject performs action okay the performer of action means uh, that one is performing action is called a subject and it will show the ability of subject let's see how it will show through examples we are trying to get see there i can write a sentence so yes these two words are there who can write a sentence i can write a sentence so it means it's my ability i can write a sentence Ali can write a sentence. Ali can sit in class. Ali can run fast. Okay, so this it means we are uh, discussing ability in present time. Is it clear? So this is an actual and simple way. So interesting. While using using moods, we can express everything interestingly. So see there, another sentence. They can build a new wall. So it means now they. they is our subject and same nothing is changed no uh, not anything is there first form of verb is there in each mood, modal verbs my dear students in all moods what you will use first form of verb just mood will be changed according to the situation they can build a new wall see their next sentence can i cut the apple no no it, it is showing request can i cut the apple okay now can i have put in the start of the sentence because i am requesting something and asking that can i cut the apple see there can i use your pen this is getting permission in present time can i use your pen can i take this is it clear so now this is the use of can in different situations let's see use of me me is used to seek i give permission and for possibility to seek or give permission if you want to give permission so you have to use may if you are seeking permission so then also you have to use may use may and if you are showing possibility of anything okay especially in present time keep remember my dear students when the possibility is expected in present time so what you will use you will use may okay so let's see through uh, examples we are going to get yeah may i sit on this chair no it is yes we are getting permission next you may go outside giving permission that you may go outside next it may rain today now it is possibility in present time it may rain today now you have got my dear students this may we already we are using in our class also like uh, while going outside you are getting permission from your teacher may i go to drink water may i sit here may i write teacher is it clear so such type of it means you are seeking permission in present time so now you have judged that why we are using may in our like in our functional sentences in daily routine sentences those we are facing in our classroom okay that's why we are using because may express moods in present time and in classroom you are present have you got my dear students good next see use of should should is used for suggestion opinion or advice so yes my dear teachers and my dear students 
use of should where we have to use should we can if we want to give advice someone if we want to give suggest someone suggestion opinion same meanings related words are there so if so we have to use should how we have to use see there examples wow students should speak english yes so you should speak english but this is not a suggestion this is advice for you my dear students because in your english lesson lesson in your class while learning english so you have to discuss everything in english because it will enhance your knowledge and understanding level will be increased so be careful so what you have to do students should speak english is it clear this is an advice next see there subhan should focus on his family now this is opinion suggestion that what is suggestion subhan should focus on his family next is there you should visit the doctor if you are not feeling really feeling well okay and you are unwell unfit so what you have to do you have you should visit the doctor so someone friends relative or you are giving you can give any suggestion to anyone to your friend so you should visit the doctor it's okay next example is there she should come on time okay this is advice you must come on time okay time is so precious no need to waste my dear students so you should come on time this is also suggestion sorry advice so have you got that how we can use should in different situation if you are giving suggestion if you are advising something so this is the way see cannot means negative structure how we can use cannot is used to show inability of subject or impossibility in present time same like that is there just cannot because already you know that not is negating something prohibition when we want that something uh, it should not be happened so we use not when we want to means uh, deny something so we use not so inability can is used to show ability cannot is used to show inability means i cannot do that but cannot must not be in our dictionary okay i can everything alhamdulillah see that i cannot write a sentence no why you cannot write a sentence yes you can write a sentence you are good students so but their uh, sentence structure is that now you have got that where we have to put not right after the modal verb you will put not under the rest again all the rest of the sentence will remain same there is no change my dear students okay for making negative i did not change anything just i added a single word not is it clear see there they cannot build a new wall so now this sentence is showing inability of they in the group of people students anywhere that one is there so these cannot is showing inability so next she cannot cut the tree and the next word ali cannot ride a horse is it clear that these all sentences are showing inability of subject their subject is ali there is she there is they and there i is it clear good so next same like that may not may not is used to refuse permission or to show impossibility so my dear students same thing is there that positive sentence that we are using may and may not for prohibition when we want to refuse permission that no you may not go there so this it means i am refusing okay you may not go outside so simple this is the way see there in sentences you may not go outside already i have i have spoken that now you have got that it means permission is rejected there is it clear see there she may not eat anything in classroom there is also instructions and we are this is also prohibition we are denying something we are uh, like refusing the permission see there it may not rain tomorrow impossibility showing it may not may rain tomorrow this is impossibility is it's clear next so in this way my dear students we can use 
in different ways. Different uh, like next, yes, he may not come in room. He may not come in room. It means there also provision is rejected. He may not come in room. Clear? Now have you got? Good. Use of should not. Should not makes the sentence negative. Okay, should not make the sentence negative like prohibition when we want to suggest that they should not do that. Okay, so in this way, see sentence structure, you should not buy that old car. You should not buy that old car. This is my suggestion. If you want to buy, it's up to you. She should not take two pills at a time. And this is not for she. This is for all of us. Okay, we should not take two pills at a time. It could be harmful for us. See there, Asad should not drive carelessly. Because Asad is driving carelessly and we are giving suggestion how he should, he should not drive carelessly. See there, we should not waste our time. Okay, we should not waste our time. Is it clear? So, these are, uh, these are all the rules that we can change in an in easy way. Should like all modal verbs with their positive and negative forms. Now, have you got my dear students? Good job. And one thing more I want to uh, discuss with you that while positive sentence, when you have to change into negative, there is no change. Keep remember, just you have to add the word not right after the modal verb. Okay? Other, the rest of the sentence will remain same. Keep remember that. So, let's perform an activity in your class and be ready, my dear teacher. Make a different groups of students in your class. Each group will discuss what it can do and what cannot do. Also, share your reason, engage whole class and enjoy the game. Yes, my dear teachers, you should make different groups. Okay? According to the strength of class. Not two groups, different groups. It's up to you, two, three people's. Uh, three students can be in one group, four students can be in one group. So they will share everything, their ability and inability and they will give suggestion to each other. Call in front of class and give them chance to speak using Moodle verbs. So pause the video and perform this activity in your class and then come back. Well done. I hope you have enjoyed and now you, uh, my teacher, dear teacher, also you have got that the ability and inability of your students. Now you can, you have judged, so you can improve them nicely. Good. So open your book, page number 127, 128 and 129. There are different activities for you, my dear teachers and my dear students, using all these moves that now I have cleared now. So perform this activity on your notebook, my dear students. Teacher will supervise you nicely. So I'm waiting for you. Perform this on your books. Welcome back and excellent job. Now I have, I, I can hope that you have done it so easy and interesting. Good. So what's our homework? Write at least 15 sentences using can, may and should with their positive and negative forms in your notebook. You will write at least 15 sentences using moods that we have learned today in their positive and negative forms. Yes, my dear teachers, this is the worksheet. This worksheet link is given below. You may click it and provide it to your students in printed form so that we might be able to judge that how they have done their modal verbs. There is a complete detail of that. Okay. So, excellent and informative worksheet is there when you will provide it to your students so you can get everything. Okay. Let's see what we have learned today. Today we learned to use can, cannot, may, may not, should, should not in different situations in their positive and negative forms. And in this way we have covered up our essay to illustrate the use of can, cannot and may, may not and should, should not to express permission, prohibition, doubt and obligation. Yes, we have done with it. Okay, so we have done it. We have covered our SLO and we, we have learned that how we can suggest anyone, how we can share our abilities, how we can share our inabilities. So this is the way that we can use every mode according to the situation. So I hope 
you enjoyed today's lecture so tomorrow we'll be the new lecture see you soon inshallah till that time thank you so much stay blessed allah hafiz